Robert John Maudsley, born the 26th of June 1953, is a British serial killer responsible for the murders of four people. He committed three of these murders in prison after receiving a life sentence for a single murder. He was alleged to have eaten part of the brain of one of three men he killed in prison, which earned him the nickname Hannibal the Cannibal among the British press and the Brain Eater amongst other prisoners. However, the Press Complaints Commission records that national newspapers were subsequently advised that the allegations were untrue, according to the autopsy report. Since the death of Ian Brady, Maudsley has become the longest-serving British prisoner and the earliest person still living to be subject to a whole-life order. Early life Robert Maudsley was one of 12 children, born in the Speakey estate on the outskirts of Liverpool, spending most of his early years in a Catholic orphanage in Crosby, Merseyside. At the age of eight, Maudsley was retrieved by his parents and subjected to routine physical abuse until he was eventually removed from their care by social services. Maudsley later claimed that he was raped as a child and such early abuse may have left deep psychological scars. During the late 1960s, a teenage Maudsley worked as a rent boy in London to support his drug addiction. He was forced to seek psychiatric help after several suicide attempts. It was during his talk with doctors that he claimed to hear voices telling him to kill his parents. He is quoted as saying, If I had killed my parents in 1970, none of these people need have died. Murders in 1974, Maudsley garroted John Farrell in Wood Green, London, after picking him up for sex showing Maudsley pictures of children he had sexually abused. Maudsley was arrested and later sentenced to life imprisonment with a recommendation that he should never be released. Maudsley was sent to Broadmoor Hospital, where, in 1977, he and another inmate, David Cheeseman locked themselves in a cell with a third patient named David Francis, a convicted child molester, torturing him to death over a period of nine hours. After this incident, Maudsley was convicted of manslaughter and sent to Wakefield Prison. He disliked the transfer and made it clear he wanted to return to Broadmoor. One afternoon in 1978, Maudsley killed two fellow prisoners at Wakefield Prison. His first victim of the day was Selney Darwood, a murderer convicted of the manslaughter of his wife. Maudsley had invited Darwood to his cell, where he garroted and stabbed him before hiding his body under his bed. He then attempted to lure more fellow prisoners into his cell, but all refused. Maudsley then prowled the wing hunting for a second victim, eventually cornering and stabbing prisoner Bill Roberts to death. He hacked at Robert's skull with a makeshift dagger and smashed his head against the wall. Maudsley then calmly walked into the prison officer's room, placed the dagger on the table and told him that the next roll call would be too short. Victims John Farrell, age 30 on the 14th of March 1974. David Francis, age 26, on the 26th of February 1977. Francis was a convicted child molester, sentenced to Broadmoor. Salney Darwood, age 46, on the 29th of July 1978. At the time of his death, Darwood was serving life for the manslaughter of his wife Blanche. William Roberts, age 56, on the 29th of July 1978, at the time of his death, Roberts was serving seven years for sexual assault of a seven-year-old girl. Solitary confinement in 1983, Maudsley was deemed too dangerous for a normal cell. Prison authorities built a two-cell unit in the basement of Wakefield Prison. He is escorted by no less than four prison officers at any given time due to his violent tendency. At around 5.5 meters by 4.5 meters, the two cells are slightly larger than average and have large bulletproof windows through which he can be observed. The only furnishings are a table and chair, both made of compressed cardboard. The lavatory and sink are bolted to the floor while the bed is a concrete slab. A solid steel door opens into a small cage within the cell, 
encased in thick sea through acrylic panels, with a small slot at the bottom through which guards pass him food and other items. He remains in the cell for all but an hour daily. During his daily hour of exercise, he is escorted to the yard by six prison officers. He is not allowed contact with any other inmates. In March 2000, Maudslay unsuccessfully pleaded for the terms of his solitary confinement be relaxed, or to be allowed to commit suicide via a cyanide capsule. He also asked for a pet budgie, which was also denied. In 2010, the Daily Mirror reported that Maudslay made a plea to be able to play board games with prison staff to relieve his boredom. References